back to school it's uh I think we have this week and then testing starts next week so fun fun stuff let me tell you so here is today's makeup look just something simple here's today's shirt I'm just wearing a pair of jeans I have to change my shoes I still haven't put my shoes on yet but I'm wearing these earrings today today's color is gray so yeah, I don't know. It's been thunderstorming. We've had horrific thunderstorms all morning. It just let up. Our backyard is a muddy, 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 muddy mess. So that's fun. The sump pump I hear in the basement running on overtime. So love that for the basement. Um, there's still some thunder rolling. Let me set this. And, oh, I gotta, see, I'm like out of whack. Because, I'm like, I need to walk through my makeup look. So like I said, today's color is gray. This matches my earrings. Cute. All right, because I'm like, why are all my palettes out? All right, let's do a quick, quick rundown. All right, so, you know what? I'm just going to do these first because I need to put these away. I used the Heart Breaker for, um, Highlight Palette. I used the middle color. It is called Murderous Fun. And I used that in the corner and on the lid, some on the cheeks, some on the cheeks decided to bust that out something a little different I also used the sacred glass highlight this is like very super chunky I used the middle color which is pink purity from the pink religion collection and I just like tapped it I don't know if how well you can see the sparkles but it's just like chunky sparkles so I used that and switch it up a little bit and then I used um, I used Good Morning Bubblegum and Virgin. I used these three colors on the upper part of my lid. I also used a little bit of the Cotton Candy on like right here next to the silver. Um, so I used those colors in here. And then for the crease, I used Beauty Killer. And I mixed it with Vatican Beauty and Dollhouse Lane. So this color, this color, and this color went in my crease. I did brighten it up a little bit more with Diva and um, Prism Bright. So these three for the crease, these two just to brighten it up and I blended it. But then once I put the highlighter, it kind of dulls it, but you still have that like deep color. So there's that. And then of course I used my Weirdo palette and I used Razor Blade and Weirdo in this palette. Oh no, I also used 1985 because I laid that down first and then put Razor Blade on top. And um, the black is of course for everything else. So yeah, those are the colors that I used for today. Now I need to finish getting ready for work, so I will see you when I get home, definitely, at the coffee pot. What is up, beautiful people? I created this month's poster or bulletin board outside of my classroom. I did Be a Rainbow in Someone's Clouds, and I tied in the rainbow colors because for autism awareness, as you guys know, I have worked with autistic children for like the last 17 years, and it holds a near and dear place to my heart. So I tied in April for being Autism Awareness Month in my bulletin board. What do you guys think? What is up, my 
favorite cabinet dwellers. I hope you guys don't mind me calling you that. But I literally now that I have to put you in the cabinet now for a coffee talk. And I think the mic, I might have to angle it a little bit. <sighs> Are you mad because you can't get in the cabinet now? Are you mad? Are you mad, bruh? <laughs> What's up, guys? So today was a good day back. It was a very good day back. I miss the kiddos. The kiddos miss me. One of the little girls brought me a um, a goodie bag. It was so cute. And I was like, this is for me. And she's like, it had chocolates in it. I ain't gonna lie. I ate them. Mainly the M&Ms. But I was like, really? I was like, thank you. She brought one for me and the teacher. So I ate them. I did not share with anyone. <laughs> So I had, I had those and then, um, my one friend was like on his a game, amaze balls, rocking it. He was so good today. He got good reports from all his pullout teachers. I was so proud of him. So good. I gave him a big hug at the end of the day. Do you really want treats that bad? You just had treats. Y'all, I love Binky so much. And you saw our conversation. Like you saw our conversation that we had at the end of our vlog yesterday, me and Banks. Y'all saw it. It was documented. She cut my fucking ass up half the damn night half the night me and hubby did not sleep and i'm like i was like can we please call our vet friend and ask her if there's like something we can give her to help like alleviate whatever is going on like she doesn't seem in pain but she's just everywhere like hubby's got like a lot of shit on his mind right now too so He's like, you know, whatevs. So that's why he couldn't sleep. But he said that she really wasn't keeping him up. It was his own brain that was keeping him up. So I was like, well, she was keeping me up. Like, ugh, I can't move. I even like went down under the blanket. And my hand was like sticking out like this. And she was pawing at my hand. Meow, 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 meow. I'm like, oh, like, thank these. I love you so much, but please. Oh, I was like trying, like, and I was in bed on time. I was in bed early. I had the vlog edited. I was so proud of myself. I don't even know what time it was. When I, when I like finally got to sleep, I don't even, I don't even know what time it was. I was like, oh my God, I was so annoyed. Like I love her and I get it like, you know, but I was like, can you please text her and ask her? So I think hubby's going to text her later and see if there's something that we can do. It's so nice having a friend who's a vet. Like, what? Have a problem? Call her. She can't make it, she'll FaceTime. And then she'll send us, or she's got a bunch of friends out here. When she does come up, sometimes she'll just like randomly text and say, hey, can I stop in and see the fur babies? So last time she popped in, she saw the boys. She was like, holy shit. But I don't like really like to talk, talk about her. I guess I probably should more because I know how girl world is with animals. So, but yeah, cause girl world be cray cray. So, 
good to have friends in places. Mm. It's hot. All right. I'm going to drink my coffee fee. Scope out the Twitter twatter. And uh, see what's going on. Because, of course, the question is, where is Foodie Beauty? Where is she? So, I think I got pranked. We talked about the video. But I wasn't sure because there was all these other um, articles and stuff. And one of my friends sent me an article that I shared on Twitter about Foodie and, like, expats and stuff. But I'm like, she's not an expat. She's a visitor. But is Salah an expat? Like, or is he a refugee? Like, I don't know how any of that works. So, we'll talk about it in a minute. All right, y'all. We got a, uh, oh, gosh. All this. They got to put your address everywhere. On the Temu bag. This is just one of two. I told y'all. Take this fucking app away from me. Do you hear me? Take it away. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm just getting right into it. Oh my god, these are so cute. I ordered these because I thought they were super duper cute, but I ordered them mainly for next year. They're little Lucky Charm earrings. I ordered them for next year. Plus, I want to put them on either French hooks or hoops because that's what I did with these. I made these, but let me show you. So here's the one. It's <laughs> so stinking cute. And then here's the other one. Because I always do Lucky Charms for St. Patrick's Day. How freaking cute are those? But yeah, I need to um, hack them and put them either on a hoop. Because I have smaller hoops. Or put them on a French hook. I don't know what they're really called. Are they called French hooks? I don't fucking know. Okay. Like I said, I got a lot of shit here. Ah, so you need my sweet dirty. Okay. Oh, I did order these. Good. I actually have these in my cart on Shein. So I ordered these glitter tattoos because you guys know I like to do my stuff. And I'm going to the fairy festival. So I wanted to order some. Hopefully, I don't know how, what outfit I'm going to wear yet. But look how pretty these are. Like, put this like right on the side of my face. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at these. Oh. They're gorgeous. I don't know. Can you guys see the glitter? You can kind of. Look at the tattoo paper. Okay. They're super cute. So I don't know if I'm going to go for a more natural, like, fairy or if I'm going to go, like, with, oh, God, look at these. Oh, I wish, can you guys see, look at the bottom, look at the bottom wings. Jiminy Cricket. Oh, look at the mirror. Oh, my God. Look at, look at, I'm so excited. Oh, look at this one. Oh my god they're so pretty okay i'm like so excited these have moons okay i'm excited to do my makeup so excited to do okay so these are glitter tattoos and i got these from timu hopefully they don't like burn my skin or anything but they smell like the regular tattoos so hopefully They'll be okay. I'll have to do a test run. Can we get back in the package? What is the, I just ripped the whole, the whole fucking package. Okay, so I got those. All right, I'm going to put the apparel off to the side. All right, I don't know what some of this stuff is. All right, let's see. Oh, look at these. I got these. These are so cute. Look, little skull cherries. 
little skull cherry earrings. I have a thing for cherries. I don't know if y'all noticed. I have like the cherry shoes. It's like it was so much like rockabilly vibes. I like them. I like them a lot. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is a little mold. I am not quite sure what it's a mold of. Is it hair or something? I don't know. But that's a mold. Okay. And then this. Oh, okay. Hold on. I know what that is. Oh, here's another little cute pair of earrings. They're just like red and white polka dot um, hoops, but they're like the hooks. I thought they were super cute. I ordered this from Timu, forgot that I ordered it, and I got it from Amazon. So I have a two of those now. And I also got this cute little coffee bean mold because I had an idea for a coffee cake. Just saying, what is this? Oh my god, I wonder if these work. I am so stupid. Like, this little piddly shit, like, doesn't cost that much. Okay, so I got these. Oh, they're heavy. They're heavy. I got these light bulb earrings. I'm gonna wear them for testing. They're supposed to light up. Hold on. Look at that. They're a little heavy, but how cute are those? Hopefully they turn off like fairly quickly. Here, let me see something. Hold on. They're like really bright. Let the cats are looking. They're really bright. I don't know how long it lasts. And hopefully they'll like turn off and not kill the battery. So. All right, I'm gonna put it, I don't, I like did only the one. I was thinking about wearing them during testing and be like, that's a bright idea. All right, I'm gonna keep my eye on that and see how long it takes. What is this? Oh, so I got these dotting tools. I have these for my cake corner, but I actually wanted these, that one chick that I watched that does all like the face painting stuff. She uses dotting tools for a lot of stuff with the face paint. So I specifically got these for my bathroom for face paint, so. The fun thing about designs like this is that if you keep adding like more random dots and lines, it eventually just starts to look nice, even if it's low key a mess. From here on out, it's me, this eyeliner, and one singular brush against the fucking world. No matter what design I'm doing, 99% of the time, the easiest thing to do is to just start on my outer corner. So we're gonna start with this first outer flower first. Just stippling my brush to make my petals. I feel like that kind of gives it the hand painted look, but not really because I did a bad job. This needs a stem. We're gonna softly just like. I didn't even mean to fuck it up, but like there's so much going on, you're never gonna know. So let's just go with it. You can add like a couple little leaves and maybe like a few dots down here. Dots fix everything. We're just kind of doing the same shit, but mirrored over here. flower up here in the middle. I think you kind of get the vibe. Lastly, because dots save everything, I'm using the dotting tool again with some blue and I'm putting one here and maybe one here. And then right there. Me, when I tried to fix this side so many times, it just became one gigantic smudge. But like this side is what we want it. Anyways, these rooms are really cute. Um, drop your favorite casserole recipes below. All right, so let me put this over here. Put that over there. Okay, here's some more little piddly stuff. What is this? Are these more earrings? What is this? Oh yeah, they're so cute. They're tiny. So I got these cute little rose gold little kitties thought they were cute. I thought these were cute too. I These are the kind of earrings I want to make. So, well, I don't want to really take them out, but they're just like the circles with like little daisies on them. But these are what I want to make. Like I want to be able to cut these out on the Cricut. And like, I have aspirations to do this because I love earrings so much, but I want to be able to like cut out the hoops, the circles and do like fun little things like this. All right, my earrings are still going. I'm not really liking that. 
Oh my god, there's so much little shit. This is a big Timu haul. A little bigger than I expected. Okay, and I have a whole nother one coming. Okay, I also got these earrings, but I'm gonna add these to um to hoops. But I like those. And oh my god, look at the little mochas. Are they not the cute or iced coffees? Oh, the little ice cubes move. Can you see them moving around in there? That's adorable. That's adorkable. These are cunning. Y'all know me and my cats. Look at this. How cute. I have a problem. I just, I've been so hyper focused on this shit. What is this? Oh, these glow in the dark. I think these light up too. These are little ghosties. Because y'all know I love my paranormal. But little ghosties. I think they glow in the dark though. Aren't they cute? So dang cute. Alright, my light bulb is still going. And yeah, these are hair. These are like hair molds. Oh, this came. So I wanted to do, I wanted something different. So I got this rainbow, it's stainless steel. It's a 20 inch stainless steel chain, but I kind of wanted like just something a little different. So I thought it was really pretty. I, I love stainless steel and that's usually all I go with and I got the matching bracelet. I'll probably either add it to this. I might, well hubby got me this. I have a hard time removing this because hubby got it for me. But it's been getting caught on everything and I never had issues before. But maybe I'll move it to this hand. But I got the matching stainless steel. I love the rainbow chrome. So I might put this on this hand and then I'll, I might move this over here. So that way it's like not so much in the way. And I don't know, cause I don't really like wearing anything with my Apple watch, but I don't know. We'll see. Cause that even feels weird or I'll just leave it on. But hubby got me this for Christmas like many years ago. So, oh, I got my popcorn. This is like little popcorns. I was going to do chocolate popcorns. And I got these. This mold was only like three bucks or something. But usually this shit's like $8 just on Timu. But on Amazon and shit, this shit's like $20. So it, when I saw it for three, I snagged it up. Loki's looking at my... my light bulb earring okay here's another little hair thing they're for like little mini all right let's see all right is that all the little piddly shit okay that's all the little piddly stuff so next we're gonna go into the clothing part all right so the first thing i got i already don't like this material already it's like shower curtain material but it was like a little dress this might just end up being a house shirt but it's like oh easy killer i thought i were oh i think that's in the next one so it's just like a little house dress it says it was a 4x but i don't know it was like a some sort of I think this just might end up being like a around the house type thing. So I think that's what that's going to be. What is this? Oh, this is, I, I ordered hubby a pair of boxers. <laughs> I got hubby a mushroom, um, a, a little mushroom boxers. Aren't they? It's, it's a mushroom, y'all. Stop. It is a mushroom. I got them for hubby. 
I thought it was funny. But it's still going. I don't know how long it's... Okay. Alright. This is one of those heatless curl things. Where you like put the headband on. So. Uh oh. It's got two ties that come with it. But like. So you put this on your head. And then like. You wrap your hair around it. Like you split your hair and then you just like wrap it and then go to sleep with it. So it was a dollar and something. I was just like, just for something different. You guys all loved my hair when it was like really super curly and stuff. So I was like, okay, let me try it. I thought I ordered a hair towel. Unless I just didn't see it. But it's got two little twist ties. Wait, this can go upstairs. All right, let's see this dress. That's the thing, like, the only thing with teeny with clothes. Okay, this feels like normal material. I thought this dress was cute. It's like a little, like, newspaper dress, and it's got, like, the, the choppy hem. I don't know. I just thought it was different and I thought it was cute. I'll try it on at the end and we'll see. We'll see what it's given. All right. What is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, I got, did I get? Okay. So this seems like really big, but I got a little overall skirt so I could wear like a tank top or like a t-shirt and have like the little skirt type deal. And it's like a little cup, like coveralls. I did break down and get them. What is this one? I think I got two of them because I wasn't sure which one I wanted. Is this the other one? Yeah, see, this is the other one. So this one's just the skirt and you wear the skirt and then like just the straps come up and like you just wear like a t-shirt or something under it. But the other one is the whole coveralls. So I will see which one I like the most. What is this? All right, this is, oh, did I order a fairy dress? Oh, I did, oh, is this a hooded one? Yes, so I wanted this like little hooded, like, oh, it's like on both sides. It's like a black, like gothic-y type. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take that out of my cart then on Timu. My girlfriend might wear that, though, when we go to the fairy festival. Oh, and these are actual jeans. These are actual jeans. Because sometimes their jeans look like jeans, but they're not jeans. Because I'm trying to go outside of my comfort zone. So I thought these were really cute. They're jeans with a lace cutout or like inlay, whatever you want to call it. So, super cute, super cute jeans, I thought. So, I'm going to try those. And I got these in a 3 extra 3XL. So, because every time I buy sometimes 4X, it's too big. But then I buy 3X, it's too small. And then the 4X is still too big. I don't know. And then last but not least, I got a new body shaper. I need to order some more. Well, not... Well, I order the compression tanks and stuff like that, but I wanted to get one for just something like a little different, but this one like zip, zips up, but I wanted more of my back covered because like this one, look at this. You see, I got the, the flap in the back. Look, look at the jelly roll. See, we, we can't be having that. 
So, I don't know. I was going to try this one. But I still like the ones with the boobalas cut out because um, it kind of like hoists the girls up. Because I don't have much. I'm not working with much. Like, I don't think so. But now that I lost weight, like, I don't have the booby doo disease anymore. Where, like, your belly sticks out more than your boobies do. Um, <laughs> when I was, like, really, really heavy, that used to be my main thing. But um, I also got this for summer too, just to kind of, it's so it's more for this, like, cause I have lymphedema here and I have it all down here. But I thought maybe this would just be just something different. Cause I usually order from Shaper Mint and um, I do have this one medical website where I order my compression tape. So um, I have those. So I have two compression tanks, two Shaper Mint compression, but sometimes you just need a little more. So, all right, let's try some of this stuff on. Okay, so I started with these jeans. I don't know what you guys think of them. It's kind of hard to see. So they're not too bad. Um, this leg is a little bigger than this leg, but I don't think they're that bad. And they're so comfy for like spring. I actually pulled them up. I did not have to unbutton them. And for the record, I can wear size 16 to 20, depending on the brand. So if that gives you any context, I always pull my pants up high because my incision or my scar line here really messed me up. So this is literally like a mushroom and all my clothes end up falling down. So I like to be able to pull them up. But yeah, they're not too bad. They're cute with a cute little pair of sandals and like you'll get a nice breeze. Uh oh, okay. You'll get a nice breeze through the lace. So yeah, so the lace, actually the open part only comes up to here. So I would actually wear these to work, to be honest, cause they're cute. So I would wear these to work. These are really, really cute. On to the next. Boop. Okay, so to be completely honest, I really don't know how I feel about this. Like it's a dress, it's supposed to be like that. But I don't know, like it feels like shower curtain material. My arms, I feel comfortable with my arms. Like, what do we think? I don't know. I, this might just be around the house, like a nightgown type deal. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm not sure how I feel. I mean, I would, of course, I have biker shorts. Like I, I don't have them right now but I always wear biker shorts under my dresses and stuff. So, but I'm also, I'm just gonna leave this on to try the, uh, to try the overall things. Uh, also, I can't really show you, I guess I can, hold on. Let me bring you up here so you guys don't see everything. But, ooh, so I have the new shaper on. And this is dual layered. It has the buttons. Oh, I don't, I'm too afraid. <laughs> it has the buttons or the, the, um, the latches, like the bra latches. I can make this tighter, but I just put it on the one. And then it zips. <clears throat> and let me tell you, it's comfortable. Like, I don't know how the back fat is. Uh, it looks a little bit more. I could probably tighten it. I do need to tighten the straps though. I do need to definitely do that. But it, she's comfortable. Like I like her. Like I might have to order this in other colors. Like because this would be really good for summer. I'm, I'm digging it. Okay. Let's try. Because I'm just, I'm putting this over the dress. I feel like this is really big, but I could be wrong. And then I say that and I put it on and I'm like, am I really just that big? But I really don't have the best depth perception. So 
like I said, it might look a little silly, but I see like the girls and stuff with this and I think they're so cute. And I could tighten up the, all right, let's say. Oh, she ain't bad. I know I'm a little crooked. She ain't bad. I ain't mad at her though. And it's a nice length. I like how the length hits. That's up all the way though. But I can like also do it down. Be kind of edgy. Put the t-shirt. Like that's cute, right? I might have to figure out. I mean, I could pull it down more. But I kind of like it up a little bit higher. Oh my gosh. Like that's cute. Does it have pockets? No, no pockets. She's cute. Let's try this one. This one's more of a, this remind, cause I thought this was a backpack at first. When I saw, I'm like, I don't remember ordering a backpack. Cause that's just the, ow, my toe. The vibe that this material, like canvassy. Now this one's a little tight. That's weird because I buy I bought everything in the same size. This is what I'm saying. This one feels a little tight. I mean, I got her up, but she's a, she's a little tight. Ooh, I just had snuggies. All right, let me let me pull my dress down here. All right. Now I need to adjust the straps and stuff because the straps aren't even and all that other shit. So, um, I don't know. I can't really tell. It seems kind of tight here, but maybe if I like just pulled it up a little bit more, it wouldn't be so bad. And then I could tighten that. I don't know. What do we think? What do we think? What do we think? Let's see. Let's look at this midsection. I mean, it's not bad. And it's not like I have to like take the whole thing off to change. Okay. Last but not least, the dress. What do you guys think? It's not bad, it's a little clingy here, but you know what, I have those big corset belts, so I would wear the white belt or black belt, something like that. I love the arm coverage. Like, if this is covered, I'm okay with this. Like. To be completely honest, the girls look good. Little side profile. I don't, I'm not mad. It's different. It's different. <laughs> it's terrible. Oof. When you get old and you move and you can actually hear your bones grinding as you move. Yeah, it's terrible. Don't get old, 10 out of 10, don't recommend. And this is still on, so this, oh, my aching ass, you can turn them off. I thought they turned off by them damn selves. Jiminy Cricket, all right. All right, there is my Timu haul. I have a whole nother one coming still, and I have a Shein haul coming, so. Take these apps away from me, please. Please. What is up, y'all? Oh my God, y'all. Girl world. Girl world. I am just an outsider looking in. Y'all, Foodie Booty is back in Canada. First and foremost, I just want to say and truly like make this known i am very happy that she is safe she did not have a medical emergency i am happy that she is okay i am happy that she made it safely 
back to Canada, Nixie, fuck off. And yeah, so I'm happy, 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 happy and relieved to see that she's okay. Does she look the best? No, but she is safe and sound back in Canada. Praise the baby, whoever. I always say praise the baby Jesus, praise the Lord or lady, whoever you may say, bless, okay, bless. She's home, okay? Girl world's popping off right now. Here's my theory, and I'm going to call this right now. Foodie Booty, there is a thousand clips of Chantel saying that she has cheated on, on all her significant others, okay? Okay, remember that. I think her and Salah have the next plot twist and the next storyline already done. I think she's going to give us some time. Her and Pete's are going to move in together. She is going to cheat on Salah. She's going to come on crying saying she cheated. Salah's going to go live or whatever and say he's done with her. It's over, whatever, whatever. It's going to be done though. Point blank, period. Out. I would die if it was S-Sham. Could you imagine if she cheated with S-Jam or got S-Jam on the payroll to say that she cheated with him? Could you imagine? Oh my God. Anyway. All right. So I'm getting ready to make dinner. I am making wet burritos tonight my way. Um, but I did get my little Amazon um, stuff in. And I ordered a box of my makeup shields. And I like these ones better because they're like in little individual packs. And I don't have like big packs everywhere. And the last one I was so mad because they were all like not glued. Like I wasted half the pack. I also had to replenish my micellar water, makeup removing water. This, okay. I wanted to try this with the soda stream. So we have Watermelon Crush, Lemonade, Grape Crush, and Orange Crush. So I thought these would be good for the soda stream, but these two are going to be mine just for whatever because I love Watermelon Lemonade and these fuckers is the best, okay? All right, last but not least, we have this. Now, I ordered this on a whim. I found, okay, so you guys know that girl that I'm always like talking about that's on Instagram. And I don't know if she has a YouTube or not. And she has like all the crazy earrings and she's like, um, my crazy earrings, which gives me like to do my makeup and whatever, whatever. I've posted her before. If not, if I remember, I'll post a video of her with like all her crazy. She has these little crock pot or like the corning wear earrings they're so stinking cute oh my gosh but anyway so she was doing a thing and she was talking about this what water wet eyeliner and so she did have her stuff linked so i went to the put the page it is a uk based cosmetic company and it had like all these like dry to wet. Uh, it's basically water eyeliners and like water activated like liquid liners or whatever. So it's like a powder and then you just dip it, you know, it turns into like a face paint basically. And what are you doing? Brayden, I'm getting ready to make dinner. Do you have to have a banana right now? I'm literally getting ready to make dinner. Oh, my aching ass. This boy. It's a story for another day. Anyway. Um, so, I started looking because these eyeliners. Hold on. The cats think I'm, I'm getting ready to give them their food. But I'm like trying to do this. Okay. So, I was Googling. Well, I Googled the webpage and I found them. But here's the thing, the same exact container popped up on Amazon. They look identical to the cosmetic company. And I'm just like, what if like the same packaging, everything except for the other one just has their name on it. So this one, it just says water soluble painting palette. So that's what this is. 
can't even open it. There we go. Oh, holy shit balls. So it does come with a teeny tiny brush and look at these freaking colors. Oh my gosh. But you're, they're just water activated. So I don't, so I got that one. It came in a two pack, so I don't know what colors. And they say that they're UV, whatever. If Jeffree Star comes out with these and they're like, oh my God, they would probably be so good. But I think they have like glitter ones too. Cause I was like looking at glitter face paint and stuff. Um, I hope they're not the same. Oh my gosh. Okay. Everybody's like in such a good mood. Like I said, I genuinely am happy foodie is okay. Like, she's just as happy as can be. She don't give a fuck about Ramadan because she was looking at somewhere to eat and it was not sundown. Okay. And then here is the second palette. It was a two-pack. So these are more like normal, regular colors. So, I don't know. I swear it. the palette looks just like the girls and they had like these round tubs that had like two colors in one identical to the cosmetic site so i don't know i just i got these from amazon this was 10 bucks versus the other ones they were 65 like i was gonna like i was willing to drop like a hundred and something dollars for these liners but i was like I feel it's the same exact packaging, the same exact way the colors are lined in there. Who knows? These could be dupes from those. I don't know, but we're going to give them a try and we'll see what happens. All right, people, I got my Timu stainless steel rainbow chain on and the bracelet. So, all right, what do I have going on right now? So in this pot... No, I'm ah. vlogging. Where's chicken noodle soup? Chicken noodle soup. It's probably the saffron rice. So in this pot, I have yellow saffron rice. And I have that cooking. Now in this pan, I'm getting ready to put in some ground beef. So I have the, I wanted to get the rice going first because I'm going to need this pot because I don't feel like dirty enough all these damn dishes to be completely honest. So I'm gonna put, why is this meat? We just bought it Saturday, like where's all the blood? My cats are completely psycho tonight. All right, so I just took the grease out of my ground beef. And now I'm going to add some cumin to this. We're just going to add some cumin. Okay. We're going to add some chopped onion. Okay, and then of course, move you over for the garlic. All right, and then we're gonna mix this up like so. Smells so good. I love taco season. I guess I could probably put taco seasoning in here, but. I'd rather have more of the cumin and I am going to add taco sauce. So, all right. Now I have in my pot, I have my saffron rice. Uh-oh. Hold on real quick. All right. So I'm going to add the saffron rice. I'm not going to add all of it but I'm gonna add a good chunk to it. Because that's gonna go in my burritos. Okay. All right, 
Now I need the taco sauce. All right, I got my taco sauce. And I'm gonna start adding some of that in here. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit more taco sauce cause it's not like super soupy, but it'll be fine. All right, so we got our red enchilada sauce. I have a brick of Velveeta. And first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pan and I'm gonna pour this enchilada sauce all in the bottom of the pan. Now look, I know how to make wet burritos. I know technically you are supposed to dump or dip the tortilla in the, uh, you are uh, supposed to dip the tortilla in, um, which way am I gonna do this? I'll just do it this way. In the red enchilada sauce, and then you wrap it, but we ain't got time for that mess. I ain't got time for that mess. So I just make sure they stay juicy, okay? So I'm gonna take a little bit of cheese Oop, a little bit of Velveeta, and I'm gonna spread it, okay? And then I'm gonna get my meat mixture. And we're gonna put that on there. We got some meat and some rice. All right. And then we're gonna roll them up. Okay, course seam side down, right in the enchilada sauce. So we're gonna keep doing this. Oh, but yeah, I wanted to put a little bit of cheese on the inside. We don't really do beans and stuff. I do bean wise, like I don't like kidney beans. I don't like, pit well, okay. I was gonna say I don't like pinto beans, but to a degree I do because I do like refried beans, but I don't, but I don't like refried beans. Like if that makes any sense, so. Like I just, I like them, I, like, I just like refried bread. Refried beans. So, all right. Again, roll it. All right, so let me get these rolled up and I'll see you in a minute. All right, so I have two, four, six burritos in here. And now I'm gonna pour the rest of this enchilada sauce in. I need to open the other can. I'm going to make, because you got to have this juicy, juicy. Actually, I wonder if I should just do this. Like, it's got to be juicy because that's the whole point of it. They're a wet burrito. They're wet for a reason. So let's see. There we go. Let me just make sure all these are getting nice and coated. All right. <clears throat> all right. All right. Let me make sure this one still got a little bit Okay, now, the last part, the Cela de Resistance. Chase, we're gonna add shredded cheese on top of the burritos, enchiladas, whatever you want to call it, the wet burritos. All right. 
And then I'm actually gonna add, should I add a little bit of tajin? Let's see if wifey notices. I'll add just a little bit of tajin, just a wee bit, not a lot. See if she notices. All right, in the oven, this is gonna go and it's gonna bake until the cheese is melted. And then I'm gonna actually start making cause I still have um, meat left and I still have more enchilada sauce and stuff. Um, I'm gonna make some more so that way we have like some extras and stuff for lunches. All right, I just took this out of the oven. Nice crusty cheese. Nice crusty cheese. So we have a total of four, eight, nine. So this made like nine wet burritos, two pans. We'll have plenty for leftovers. Let's dig one of these bad boys out. All right, here is the wet burrito. I'm taking some of the juice, pouring it on top. Look how hot that is. Hot tamale, hot, hot tamale. All right, let's cut this in half. Now the thing with these tortillas is that because they're carb balanced tortilla, they're a little gummier than normal. But look at that. Look at that. What do you think? Here, hold on. All right, there you go. Look at it. Would you just look at it? Mm. Let's give her a go. All right, this shit's gonna be so hot. It's gonna be a scorcher. A scorcher, I say, a scorcher. All right. Braden, he has like an internal food sensor. He knows that the food is. Need to clean off the table. Yeah. Mm. Delicious. Ten out of ten recommend. All right, you cabinet dwellers. In the cabinet you go. It's that time, folks. It is time to wind down for the evening. I have to get up super early tomorrow for work. So, fun stuff. Callie, she was such a pain in the ass earlier. <sighs> she left. She was a pain in the ass. All right. I need to open this. I need to order some more skinny syrups. She's mad because she can't get to the treats anymore. I haven't given them any catnip. I wonder if I should give her catnip. Did I tell you she does like the cutest thing at night? She gets a toy and like she carries it upstairs in her mouth and then she starts crying like meow, meow. Look, you look like, look what I got. And she's like meow, meow, meow. And so um, she starts meowing. So I... <laughs> Ma'am, come on, I don't want to fall. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm so glad I didn't pour my protein shake yet. She's a pain in the ass. Like, do you wanna give her attention? When you wanna give her attention, she don't wanna be bothered. But when you're in the middle of doing something, like tonight when I was in the middle of cleaning up, oh no. She had me carry her around the kitchen like a child like a human child while I cleaned up. Which just caused more extra cleaning because I had to clean up her when I was done. So, 
so I don't know what that was but yeah so she is a pain in the buckets but I love her I love her so much so much so much all right we'll see how bad Banks is tonight maybe I can get to sleep before her let me see if I can get up at like 5.30 maybe? No, that's too early. I probably shouldn't have did that. Don't spill a drop of coffee. Not, okay, that needs to go back up the ca cabinets. Callie, oh, did I shake this? Callie, come on. Back up. I haven't seen that caramel popcorn uh, protein shake. They should have did, like when they do crazy flavors like that, like when they had the root beer float, the root beer float was disgusting, okay? You might as well just take one of these and put it in milk. Like, it was nasty. But like, I kind of wanted to try the caramel popcorn because the buttered popcorn and caramel popcorn Jelly Belly Beans are like some of my favorites. So I probably may or may not would have liked it, but I don't know. <sighs> Alright guys. That's a wrap, y'all. That's a riggedy wrap. That's a wrap. So I am going to go upstairs to bed. I'm going to edit the vlog because I have that Timu haul. So I'm going to edit that. I'm going to try to make the thumbnail tonight so I don't have to do it tomorrow and get all that uploaded. So I love you guys all oh so, 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 so very much. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, please be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through. So don't be a dick. I love you guys all oh so much. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.